In preparation for this video,、um, I sat down with Jamie Hewlett, the director, and Pete Candeland, the co director, and explained some of the thoughts that went into the music of the album. Pete works for a company called Passion Pictures. They're this top notch animation company. They must be good because I can't tell which bits are animation and which bits are real. I thought the set inside the tower was like that was far out, man. It was, it was, it was like loads of fantastic looking chicks, you know, just lying around. You know. I, I tell you, you know what? When I grow up, oh, oh, I, I'm going to get a place just like this. <laughs> the extras were all hiding for the day. A lot of these models actually turned up in the condition you see here. Where a professional turn up in that condition? Oh, 2D, you know, he's such a lightweight. Look at him. I mean, before we shot this video, I'd been up for maybe five, six days, you know. And he, you know, 2D, went out for like 20 minutes or something the night before. Look at him! Yeah? He, lo he looks like a trapped boy. I don't know. Oh, maybe he's just a great actor. Fing doubt it, though. I walk across the living carpet of like half dead bodies, right, towards the window. Then outside, I spot something in the distance. And the windmill that bursts through the clouds is greatly inspired by a lot of Japanese animation. The, the colors, the tones, the textures, and the brightness of the clouds. It was important to make something that seemed like it has sprung from the mind of a child. In this way, it would fit with the pure sentiment of the song. Great idea. It's really, really cryptic, isn't it? Uh, actually, next video, Jamie wants to sort of stick a talking horse in there. So, back in the inside of my massive party pad. Yeah, man, d e l a s o u l you know, like 60 foot high and rising. You better believe it. And there they are, laughing their big faces off. d e l a s o u l came over from the States to film their bit. But I get the feeling they've been inhaling nitrous oxide on the plane over. It wouldn't take it seriously, man. They just keep giggling their heads off. They were making a mockery of a singer for most of the day.、Um, someone told me that they beat him up、um, after the video shoot、uh, just for fun. <laughs> yeah. I like the way d e l a s o u l looked like really ghostly, man. Oh, man, get on that. The Bill Gotel is actually minute. We just shot it real close up. Oh, now this is like a thrusting bit of swanage coming out of the clouds. There is a recurrent theme of escape that has often been symbolized by the image of floating islands. We had to turn the island at this point because these kids had kind of sprayed gorillas n off on the side. I float past the feel good towers and I do this as a reminder to Tudi to use his strength to escape his prison, but something is holding him back. Do you look trapped? Because I think he is trapped, you know? It is difficult to tell whether I am the dream of freedom or whether I am the one who has awoken, but Tudi is definitely still stuck in the nightmare. The palace we built has become a prison, so that's what the video is about. You know, being trapped by the things you make. Looks like a good party to me. Loads of girls, live band, big screen. Wicked. The island, I、like, floated off down the Thames. We had to get the fire brigade to bring the thing back. Again, the spirits of De La s o u l are just laughing at us. Murdoch's such a poser, you know what I mean? Look at the way he's thrusting his giblets. So the director shouts action, and that's what I gave him full on pelvic thrust base shagging. So that's how the video ends. Me, Murdoch, and Russell locked in his endless debauchery of the feel good town. And there it is. There's, there's, there's the island. That's Noodles and the Lion floating away. Floating away into the sunset. And there are the choppers! Ah,、oh, back in Nam. <laughs>